we have some data in this column and the mean of these data values is 5 and the standard deviation is 4.03 so the mean is 5 and the standard deviation which measures the spread of the data from the mean is 4.03 If we add 10 to all of these values, the data will become this. The question is, what's the new mean and standard deviation? The mean increased by 10. So the mean increased by the same amount that we increased the data by. But look at the standard deviation. It shows absolutely no change whatsoever. In this column, I'm going to subtract 20 from all of these data values. So I'm going to change the scale once more. So the original values minus 20. What I'm expecting to see here is the mean will be 20 less than the original mean there. So I'm expecting to see minus 15 here but with the same standard deviation as before. And we have minus 15 for the mean as expected and no change in the standard deviation. What would happen if you multiplied your data by something? So instead of just adding something or subtracting something from all of your data values, you were to multiply all of your data by some value, for example, 2. Okay, so the new data becomes this, so we've changed the scale again. Let's have a look at the impact on the mean and the standard deviation. As you can see from here, multiplying all of the original values by 2 results in a change in the mean and the standard deviation. So both the average and the measure of spread this time, both of them have changed. The mean has doubled. The standard deviation has also doubled. And if we multiply all of the original data by 10, the mean has been multiplied by 10, by the same amount, and the standard deviation has also been multiplied by 10. So what we see from here is if you add or subtract the same value to all of your data, the mean changes by the same amount, but the standard deviation does not. And if you multiply or divide all of your data by something, then both the mean and standard deviation will change by the same factor that you're multiplying or dividing by. A quick application of this could be, let's say you're given data in money terms, so your data is recorded in pounds, so you have some numbers, you work out a mean, you work out a standard deviation, and then you convert your data from pounds to euros. So you go through a conversion process, so you're changing the scale. So this time, what will the new mean for your um, data be? What will the new standard deviation be? Okay, that's a quick application. You could also change data from uh, temperature, for example, degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius, etc.